Ever wondered how to add some playful teasing into your conversations with a girl? If you're looking to make your interactions more fun and engaging, you've come to the right place. Today, we'll uncover how to tease a girl playfully using four effective methods. Number one, exaggeration tease. Exaggeration teasing is a fantastic way to inject humor and playfulness into your conversations. This method involves taking something she says or does and playfully blowing it out of proportion to create a funny, light-hearted moment. For example, if she mentions she went for a short jog, you might respond with, so you're basically training for the next marathon, right? This kind of teasing is effective because it takes a small truth and humorously exaggerates it, making her laugh and enjoy the interaction. The key to successful exaggeration teasing is to ensure that it's light-hearted and never mean-spirited. The goal is to make her smile, not to make her feel self-conscious or uncomfortable. When you use exaggeration teasing, it shows that you're paying attention to her interests and behaviors, which can help build a connection. It's a way of saying, I notice you, but in a fun and engaging manner. This type of teasing can also help to break the ice and make your interactions more memorable. For example, if she's a bit of a neat freak, you could tease her by saying, I bet your sock drawer is organized by color and alphabetized. This kind of playful exaggeration can lead to laughter and further conversation, making your interactions more dynamic and enjoyable. Another great aspect of exaggeration teasing is that it invites her to play along. She might respond to your marathon comment by saying, oh, totally, I'm running 10 miles tomorrow, and you can keep the playful banter going. This back and forth helps to create a lively and fun atmosphere, making your conversations more engaging and less mundane. Just remember, to keep the tone light and ensure she knows you're just joking. So the teasing feels affectionate and fun, not critical. Number two, nickname tease. Creating a fun, light-hearted nickname based on something she does or says is another excellent way to tease her playfully. Nicknames can be a powerful tool to create a special bond and inject some humor into your interactions. For instance, if she's always talking about her love for baking, you might start calling her Cupcake Queen or Master Chef. The idea is to come up with a nickname that is endearing and playful, something that brings a smile to her face whenever she hears it. The key to a good nickname tease is to base it on something unique about her, something that stands out and can be gently poked fun at in a kind-hearted way. This shows that you're paying attention to her quirks and interests, which can make her feel special and appreciated. Nicknames like Smarty Pants for someone who's really into academics or Adventure Girl for someone who loves outdoor activities can make her feel recognized and valued. Nicknames can also become inside jokes, adding a layer of intimacy and shared understanding to your relationship. They create a sense of exclusivity as the nickname is something only the two of you share. This can strengthen your bond and make your interactions more personal and enjoyable. Just make sure the nickname is positive and lighthearted Avoid anything that could be taken as an insult or make her feel uncomfortable. The goal is to make her laugh and feel good about herself, not to make her feel self-conscious. Using a nickname also allows for playful back and forth banter. For example, if you call her Cupcake Queen, she might tease you back by calling you Chef's Assistant or something similarly playful. This mutual teasing helps to build a fun and dynamic relationship where both parties feel comfortable joking around and enjoying each other's company. Nickname teasing, when done right, can be a great way to create a fun, flirtatious atmosphere and deepen your connection. Number three, challenge tease. Lightly challenging her on a skill or knowledge can create a fun, competitive vibe in your interactions. This type of teasing involves playfully questioning her abilities or knowledge in a way that invites a friendly competition. For example, if she mentions she's good at trivia games, you could say, oh really? I bet I could beat you in a trivia contest. This kind of challenge sets the stage for a fun and engaging conversation where both of you can showcase your skills and enjoy a bit of playful banter. The challenge tease works because it adds excitement and an element of play to your interactions. It shows that you're confident and enjoy a bit of friendly competition, which can be very attractive. Moreover, it gives her a chance to demonstrate her abilities and have fun proving you wrong or accepting the challenge. For instance, if she loves cooking, you might tease her by saying, I doubt you can make a better pasta than me. This kind of playful challenge not only adds humor, but also creates opportunities for shared experiences, like a friendly cook-off or a trivia night. When using challenge teasing, 
it's important to keep the tone light and supportive. The aim is to encourage fun and laughter, not to create tension or make her feel inadequate. Compliment her skills while challenging her, like saying, I know you're great at trivia, but I think I might just surprise you with my random facts knowledge. This way, you're acknowledging her strengths while inviting her to engage in a fun competition. Challenge teasing can make your interactions more dynamic and memorable. It breaks the monotony of everyday conversations and introduces an element of fun and excitement. By incorporating these playful challenges, you show that you're someone who can keep things interesting and enjoyable, making her look forward to your next interaction. Number four, mock disagreement tease. Another effective way to tease a girl playfully is through mock disagreement. This involves pretending to disagree with her in a humorous and exaggerated way to create a fun and engaging dialogue. For instance, if she says she loves pineapple on pizza, you could respond with, what, pineapple on pizza? That's just wrong on so many levels. The goal is to exaggerate your disagreement to a comical extent, making it clear that you're joking and not actually upset. Mock disagreements work well because they create a playful tension that can lead to laughter and further conversation. By pretending to have opposing views on something trivial, you invite her to defend her preferences in a light-hearted manner. This type of teasing shows that you're paying attention to her likes and dislikes, and it gives you both an opportunity to express your personalities in a fun way. When using mock disagreement, it's important to choose topics that are light and inconsequential. Avoid serious subjects that could lead to real arguments or hurt feelings. Stick to preferences about food, movies, music, or other everyday topics that don't carry much emotional weight. For example, if she loves a particular TV show, you might say, no way, that show is so overrated. This kind of playful ribbing can lead to a spirited, enjoyable debate where both of you can share your opinions and tease each other back and forth. Mock disagreements help to build rapport and keep the conversation lively. They show that you're not afraid to joke around and be a bit silly, which can make you more approachable and fun to be around. By incorporating mock disagreements into your interactions, you create a playful dynamic that keeps things interesting and engaging, making her enjoy your company even more. So, who do you want to be in your conversations? Someone who can make interactions lively and enjoyable through playful teasing. With that said, thanks for watching.